And in Conway, eight hours of protesting yesterday remained peaceful, but it took a turn when the sun went down. Now some protesters are back again today because they feel their message just was not heard. THV 11's Mercedes McKay spent the day in Conway speaking with city officials and joins us live tonight. Mercedes. Marley, so we're at the corner of Park Rider and Oak Street where the protesters behind me have now been here for two hours. Since I last saw you, a couple more have joined, but it is still peaceful. Earlier today, I caught up with people in the community about the protests that happened yesterday. Now, if you put aside the tear gas being deployed, everyone told me it was peaceful and powerful conversations were had and moving moments were made. A group of people came together to fight for justice on Sunday in Conway. To see that on national TVs for eight minutes, someone actually dying, I think that was the tipping point of everything. Filling the streets and making their voices heard while having powerful moments in this cry heard around our country. They were able to embrace some people, hug some people, and just talk to some people to let them know that we were not here to be against them. We were here to make sure that they were safe. The peaceful protest put together by community members, city officials, and monitored by police officers took a turn for the worse when day turned to night. Unfortunately, there were a few folks involved in it that were, were, were bent on causing some, some, some problems. Latricia Woodruff with the Conway Police Department says things got riled up when counter protesters came along. People were running into the street and um, into traffic. So we started telling people that you have to get out of the streets. It's okay if you continue to protest, but you have to get out of the streets. While some complied, others didn't. And when the Arkansas State Police came to assist as things escalated, they made several warnings before having to deploy tear gas twice. I really think it was uh, the influx of some outsiders that, that were just bent on, on causing issues. Despite six arrests being made, city officials stand proud while members of the community stand together. We stand with them and, and want justice for um, and peace and equality for all of our neighbors. And just moments ago, the mayor's office here <laughs> did confirm that they will be implementing a city curfew starting tonight at 10 p.m. Live in Conway, Mercedes McKay, THV 11 News.